Hello, and welcome to Nuts and Bolts, the job search informational sessions brought to you by the Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia Employment Resource Consortium, otherwise known as POWER. POWER consists of 11 law schools in our region dedicated to promoting best practices in law school career development and assisting in the careers success of all of our students and alumni within their legal communities and within the profession as a whole. The Nuts and Bolts The Job Search series is a collaborative effort to educate our students and alumni on some, pro some professionalism basics to supplement your legal studies and help you develop into a round, well-rounded lawyer. My name is Laura Dettinger, and I'm the Director for the Office of Professional Development at the University of Toledo College of Law. Today's session will cover virtual interviews. We're so glad you're here. Let's get started. We're gonna start with talking about the top five things to do before your interview, moving on to the top five things to do during your virtual interview, and five things that you should avoid. Before your interview, you wanna make sure you prepare. Prepare like you would for any other interview, whether it's gonna be telephonic, virtual, or in-person. Research the organization and the interviewer and have your end of interview questions prepared. Make sure to read the instructions for the interview and know what technology you're using. Make sure that you also have the most up-to-date version of the application and won't need to reinstall directly before your interview. Some of the common applications that we see include our Skype, WebEx, FaceTime, GoToMeeting, Zoom, BlueJeans, and Microsoft Teams. Make sure that you do not have a problem logging in and that the name is, that's shown on your account is the one that you want the employer to see generally your first and last name. Consider your background before the interview. Some good backgrounds include plain walls, professionally hung artwork, or neat bookcases. Ones you want to avoid are open spaces with people or animals walking or moving around behind you, digital backgrounds that are going to cut into you, cut off part of your face or maybe your body, headboards of beds, and bright windows behind you that will make you backlit. This leads us into our next tip. Consider your lighting. So you do not wanna be backlit or have shadows covering your face. Make sure that you have good lighting and that your whole face can be seen. The last tip is to be ready. Even if you show up to the virtual interview a few minutes beforehand and you're put into a virtual waiting room, make sure that you're ready for them to let you into the interview room at any point in time. That means being seated or standing, but looking at your camera and be ready to answer questions and greet your interviewers. So let's talk about during the interview. Make sure that you're smiling. A smiling is not only seed, seen, but it is heard in the tone of your voice. So make sure that you are smiling at your interviewer. Make sure to speak clearly and slowly so your interviewer understands you. Remember that some people lip read while listening, so speaking slowly gives the picture time to keep up with the sound. Look into the camera, not your screen. This makes it look like you are looking directly at your interviewer rather than looking down, up, or to the side. Allow for lag time. Be conscious not to speak over the interviewer or cut them off. And maintain formality. Use the same level of a formality that you would during an in-person interview. So what are things that you should avoid during a virtual interview? The first is running applications that could interfere with your connection. Having a lot of windows open or other sources pulling on the internet can slow your connection and create a bad impression. If you have roommates or other people who use the internet often, talk with them about your interview time and see if there's something else they can do or make sure that they close out of any unused applications while you're in your interview. Next, know whether you're on mute or not. Um, some applications will save your preferences from the last time you entered a meeting. Some will automatically mute you as you enter or unmute you. Know whether you're on mute or not and don't make the employer say, you're on mute, I can't hear you. Avoid allowing outside factors to distract you. Don't have your phone next to your computer in case it lights up. Ask roommates not to walk in front of you. Shut animals out of the room for the time of your interview. Next, showing you aren't completely dressed for the interview. 
If you choose not to wear a full suit, make sure that you're not going to have to stand up for any particular reason during the interview. Your best bet is to just make sure you're fully dressed. The last is make sure to know when the interview is actually over and exit at appropriate time. So with virtual interviews, sometimes there's not that conversation on the way out the door. Make sure that the interviewer interviewer is expecting you to leave the application. Additionally, make sure that you don't accidentally exit out the application prior to the interview ending. If you have specific questions about virtual interviews or an upcoming virtual interview, make sure to reach out to your career service office. I'm sure they'll be happy to help. Good luck with your upcoming interviews. Bye.